Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. Right before you, the guy with the big smile is Robert Ross. Now, he has been making some news since Black History Month of this year when it was discovered that he is dating the daughter of one Bill Gates. Now, this daughter, her name is Phoebe Gates. I want to point out something to you guys because those of you who have been following me for a long time, perhaps from the beginning, you will know that I did a video about this before the pandemic started and with the arrow right there pointed at her. And I had stated that one of the children would be the one to rebel, that she would be the one who will divulge family secrets, that she would be the one who will not go in line with the family, that she would be the black sheep of the family. Now, I did this video like two and a half years ago, and I'm going to play a snippet of it for you. You know, this is a family of three children. I want to tell you something, I'll point out something that I feel and that I see. There's going to be a black sheep of this family. There's going to be a black sheep. And one of them will reveal the truth. They will turn on their parents. Not so much as that they hate their parents, but they will reveal secrets. They will divulge a family secret and spill the beans as to, well, we've never been vaccinated. Who do you think it's going to be? Which one of the three children in the middle who you think will spill the family secrets? There's going to be a black sheep. All of them are not going to be in accordance with what the family wants, you know, to keep their secrets, to be quiet, to not divulge anything about them growing up. Who do you think it's going to be? Let's turn the page and find out. Here's all the children. There's bound to be a black sheep. Look at them very good. Who's going to turn on their parents and reveal that, no, we were not fully vaccinated growing up. In fact, we never even got a vaccination growing up. You want to know who? That one. I believe it's going to be this one here. I do not know their names of the children. I take it that the, obviously, the daughter with the longer hair close to Gates is the oldest. The son, probably the middle, and she's the youngest daughter. I believe she's going to be the rebel. I believe that she will be the one who will spill the family secrets. I do not believe that she's going to hate her family. I do not believe that. I just do not believe that she's going to go along with what they want in terms of them being muzzled or being silent about certain issues. Okay, so you heard that. Now, the ironic thing is that YouTube actually deleted the video. I had went back there to the archives to gather some information for this particular video. And they must have honed in or tapped in to realize that I reviewed the video and presto bamo, it was gone. Now, I will petition them to put it back up and see how that goes. But I want to lead you guys into this direction that this is going to be kind of a darker direction for this Robert Ross guy. And I don't really know that he knows as to what he's getting himself into. Now, this is Phoebe Gates, the daughter right there, 
with blonde hair. She has naturally, I guess, strawberry blonde hair that she has dyed darker. And look at her aura. I was able to tell that she was a rebel or that she would pretty much do her own thing. She gives off a certain rebellious aura. And I'm going to explain to you some certain things about, about her and about the situation that Robert Ross, the black guy, is in. On this video right here, I actually had to crop it. The reason why is because even though she's wearing a blue bikini, she has her legs open and her crotch is showing. Oh, wow. This is a daughter of a man who is known worldwide. Do you really present yourself like that? Now, I'm showing that she's a rebel. But I want to talk to you about this particular situation and how this man needs to be very careful in dating a family like this. This family right here has a history, has a history dating back to Papa Gates, Bill's father, of being the president of a Planned Parenthood. And we know where Planned Parenthoods in America are located and primarily black are so our lower socioeconomic areas where a lot of black people have lived. And we know who they were targeting. We, we know from the records and speeches and writings of Margaret Sanger as to what the goal of Planned Parenthood was. And we can look at her father today going around the world with this, I'm going to deliberately mispronounce it because of YouTube, this vaccine campaign. And we know that through other campaigns that he has done around the world, it has left millions of women in Africa and India sterilized, unable to have children. Because there are certain people who believe in a Malthusian theory. Malthusian is spelled M-A-L-T-H-U-S-I-A-N-I-S-M. Please look that up. And in short, what that simply believes is that we have a divine right to fix the situation of the earth, our population being overly populated. Now connect the dots right there. And this is Prince Harry. I'm reading his book, Spare, at the moment. And in Spare, he talks about how basically it was let known to him that he was born to present a spare in case something happened to his older brother. And he was also brought forth as a spare in case the older brother needed a body part, a body transplant, like kidneys and things like that, that he would provide that. I'm going to make the connection to the daughter Phoebe here. Because keep one thing in mind. I believe that she's not the chosen one. And her sister's not the chosen one neither. She's kind of like, um, I want to say, a sacrificial lamb, so to speak. Their brother, the boy, is the chosen one to continue on the family legacy. With families who believe in certain occult theories or practices, they know that there will be a rebel child. They know that. They are aware of that. They will expect that. They know that all children are not going to stay in line. So therefore... The brother, the younger brother, I bet you would not see him dating anyone black. I'm willing to bet you that within their circle, they would keep it within their circle with their occult friends and so forth and so on, that he would marry someone who have those beliefs. So with the daughter here, Phoebe, she's what... Prince Harry is. She's like um, a spare in a way. She's not one to continue on the family legacy. She's not one to continue on the certain beliefs that has been passed down. And here's the danger part. Remember the video that I showed you? The video? Vaccines? <laughs> Robert has got to be very careful. You got to be very careful with who you lay down with. Because... I'm going to be very careful with words because of YouTube. There are certain childhood immunization shots. You guys are following me. 
that this family absolutely did not take. They know what's in them. I do not believe that any of these children has ever been immunized against anything. Here's the problem. If she whispers sweet nothings in his ear, starts divulging family secrets, telling what they did and did not do, if there was a breakup, he can take that with them. Now he knows the family secrets. And what do these occultists or elitists have a tendency to do? They'll get rid of you. They'll unalive you. Because you got too close to the devil. Her father being that. And she whispered secrets that she was not supposed to be talking about. So this is the reason why I do not look at this as being <laughs> anything to celebrate. You got to be very careful with these families that you're dealing with. Some families are very dangerous. And when you're dealing with people who have a Malthusian belief and believe that they can speak for the world, uh, things about medications and so forth, and we have a right to go around jabbing people up. If you don't agree with us, I mean, what was happening with all the mandates? You can lose your job and stuff like that. We have a tendency to force you to participate in certain experiments. My question would be is that why would you want to even lie down with someone like that, with that bloodline? Why would you want to even be involved with the family with that particular bloodline and belief? You should really know and realize that as of right now, depending on what she told you, you're a target. The more you know, the more danger you will be in. So no, people need to be extremely careful about who you invite into your life. Obviously about who you choose to date. And just because someone has a certain pedigree coming from a billionaire family, it, it does not mean that much when your life is at stake. What type of a black man, you have to really wonder, who would date someone whose father who this girl is proud of to have as her father, who loves her father, will go around ex making it so that there's certain women, black women in Africa, women of color in India, cannot have children. What does that really say about you? What does it say really about your concerns and your beliefs? And I'm going to do another video about him. I don't want to mix it, mix it in or mesh it with this particular one here because then it would have been very confusing to some degree. It would have branched off into something different. But I do want to tell you that I had called this like two and a half years ago. I said that she would be the black sheep. And he needs to be very careful and guard his feelings and emotions because she's in a very rebellious stage. She's kind of rebelling. And if you look at her Instagram, there was a picture of her with another boyfriend about two years ago who was not black. So this is something for her to uh, do, uh, to kind of like experiment, test the waters, be rebellious, to get this particular fix in or whatever you want to call it. But he's hamming it up. He seems like, um, I mean, he's glowing more than what she is. I guess he's thinking that, oh, wow, biracial babies. I can have mixed kids, light kids. And I'm sure the way he looks, regardless of his academic achievements, that he probably does not want to reproduce children that look like him. He's been conditioned like a lot of black men who are dark skinned to hate themselves, to look at something lighter as being better. And it's so unfortunate that so many of us still have those beliefs. And within the black community, darker skinned black men tend to be the biggest colorist. So to let you know what I believe about this, and, and that pretty much was it right there, that I do believe, based upon how much he knows, how much whispering in his ear she tells him, how much she divulges to him, there's going to be a degree as to how much his life will be, I don't know, at risk. So you got to be very careful about who you entertain. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. 
And I will see you all beyond and through.